you're going to start off playing an E and a G as a chord. Play an E shortly after that. Then you're going to play a G sharp and a B. So that part played slow is... You play that. This chord here is a C sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and an A sharp. The next chord you play is D sharp, G sharp, and B. Back to the E and G sharp chord. So once again play it slow. So after that what you want to do is play this here. What I did was play this E here and the D sharp up here. Play the chord, then play a C sharp, then play a B. Then play this chord here again, E and G sharp. So once again it's So playing that again real slow. That last chord is an F, G sharp, and a C sharp. You want to roll it. Put the F first, and with the C sharp. But do it fast. And start all over again. What I just did there was, after I played this chord, playing a E, G sharp, and a D sharp, and a C. Now when the chorus comes around, instead of just playing these two notes here, the G and the, the E and the G sharp, you're going to play this chord here, which is more full. It's a B, D sharp, and a G sharp. So you're here. Remember those two guys, G sharp, B. This is a C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, and an A sharp. next chord is a D sharp, F, G sharp, and a B. So it's that chord right there is a D sharp, E, and a G sharp. So from the top going slow, that was a little fast, we're here.
that's a D sharp, C sharp, B, back to this chord. Then you're going to add a B. That's a B natural, you're going to add a B after that. So it's... off with this chord here. F, G sharp, C sharp. That's an F sharp, E, and a C sharp. Once you play that, back to the, the next verse, which is just the E and the G sharp. Now the left hand of this song is pretty easy. You're going to start off on C sharp, and that's C sharp, G sharp, C sharp again. Play that once, then play a D sharp, E, to this. That's two, three, E sharp, E. Then you're going to play a D sharp. D sharp and an A sharp. Then you jump back into that loop. So once again, play it slow. Back again. Those last two notes were D sharp and A sharp. Now for the chorus in the left hand, you're going to do the same type of thing, except you're going to be playing the first note on E. That's E, B, E. So I'm jumping down to the D sharps, E, then I'm playing that note on E again. sharp. So you're ending the same way on the D sharps, then you add that A sharp up here. So once again play it slow. to the beginning. Alright, so now we're going to put both hands together. What you want to do is start off by playing the C sharp in your left while playing the chords in your right hand, the E and the G sharp. Once again, that's So notice how I play the chord in the note in the left. After my right my left hand is finished playing, my right hand plays 
So the only thing they share in common is the beginning note. So you play that together, then the left hand plays, right hand takes over together here. Right hand takes over. Let's play it together. So that right there is I'm playing the D sharp here. Now the chorus is very similar to how the verses are played. The only thing is that you're playing a chord with three notes in the right hand, the B, D sharp, and the G, with the E in the left. So chord together. Left plays, then right takes over. And the pedal is played every time you play a new note in the left hand. So all that time I was holding the pedal because I wasn't playing anything new on the left. Or same it's it's the same way as if you were to play this chord here. But when you play this here, or you don't even have to use the pedal here, you're just playing staccato. But when you play this here, you want it to sound smooth and sustained so you hold the pedal.